Oh, he was a wonderful person. Like I said, the, the members of my band were quite famous in LA. And they knew all of the places to go to. Most people think of the Roxy and stuff like that. No, they knew the real places to go to where these people hang out. And that's where they wanted to go after a rehearsal one night to go eat. So, okay, we went there and we ate. And as we're waiting to be seated, this guy who I did not recognize comes up and uh, Chuck, my one of my guitar players, says, this is Eddie. I said, oh, nice to meet you, Eddie. This is a good friend of mine. I said, oh, that's great. Pretty soon I feel this hand on my rear. I'm like, Eddie? <laughs> and he's busy talking to everybody else, so I don't feel like I can really interrupt. But Chuck is kind of standing there I'm like, um, can you tell Eddie to get his hand off my ass? And he goes, it's Eddie. I'm like, yeah, I, I know the guy's name is Eddie. Can you please ask your friend, Eddie, to remove his hand from my derriere? He goes, it's Eddie. And they're like, yeah. He goes, Eddie Van Halen. I'm like, Can you please ask Eddie Van Halen to remove his hand from my ass? And I would have interrupted him, but he was talking to all these people, and I, I, you know, I didn't feel as though with the names of the other people that were in my band, I tried to have some respect. You know, I didn't want to offend anybody. And I'm a big fan of Eddie Van Halen's, but I knew he was married, and I was married. And one should ask before putting one's hand on another person's derriere, but I digress. So yeah, he did and he apologized. And he said, you know, I'm a big fan. I said, I'm a big fan. So we sat down to eat and he sat next to me. And he said, I'd like to ask you, you know, my wife doesn't really initiate sex much. And so we got into this big discussion about how that's common and most women don't and all this kind of thing. And, and then in my comments of my, of my video, some people said, you know, that was probably a ploy to just try to get in your pants. And I went, wow, I'm dumb. Never even thought of that. <laughs> Never even occurred to me. But uh, he was very nice and very respectful. And it was really a thrill to me to get to talk to him. And of course, I'm a big fan of, Val of Valerie Bertinelli's. I grew up watching One Day at a Time, you know. 